On and off screen, Humphrey Bogart was a Casanova for the ages. But whose heart had to break before his last great love affair? And which unforgettable role inspired a gift worthy of the afterlife? Keep watching to learn all about the turbulent love life of one of the 20th century's greatest actors. Humphrey Bogart's work could give future historians a crash course in 20th century masculinity. Over the course of more than 50 movies filmed throughout a career that stretched across three decades, Bogart gave life to dozens of roles. From the 1920s to the mid-1950s, he would portray hard-boiled detectives, military officers, wayward drifters, and many other iconic characters. What sets Bogart apart from John Wayne and many of his other contemporaries, who are typically revered as all-action tough guys, is that much of Bogart's filmography shows him portraying damaged men grappling with conflicts of the heart. The most notable example of this trend is the 1942 classic Casablanca. This celebrated romance film contains some of the most memorable scenes in all of cinema, as well as some of its best-known lines, including He's looking at you, kid. And Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world. Casablanca's success has ensured that on-screen romance will forever be influenced by Bogart's grizzled tones. In his own life, Bogart was no stranger to romance. He was married a total of four times, most notably to Lauren Bacall, his co-star in a number of movies whom he wed in 1945. According to numerous sources, it was thanks to Bacall that a touching memento of their love was left at Bogart's final resting place. According to biography, Bogart and Bacall fell in love on the set of To Have and Have Not, Bacall's big screen debut. Originally expecting to make her mark on Hollywood starring across Cary Grant, Bacall was not immediately taken with Bogart. Bogart was a seasoned veteran at the time, and there was a 25-year age gap between him and Bacall. However, the pair soon struck up a rapport, and it did not take long for their blossoming romance to take root. Biography claims that the two first kissed in Bacall's dressing room, and that Bacall first gave Bogart her phone number by writing it on the back of a matchbook. In an interview with Vanity Fair, film critic Leonard Maltin observed that, To have and have not is one of these instances where it's quite possible that we are eyewitnesses to an actor or actress falling in love. And while good actors make us believe that all the time, there has to be some extra kick when it's real. According to biography, the chemistry between the stars was so visceral that the film's director, Howard Hawks, had the ending of the movie rewritten. Originally, Bogart's character was meant to pursue another love interest. In the rewrite, he eventually finds love with Bacall's. In the final scene, Bacall utters the movie's most famous line. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. In their Humphrey Bogart biography, A.M. Sperber and Eric Lax report that, when the pair finally got together, the veteran actor presented Bacall with a gift, a bracelet with a golden whistle, in reference to the iconic scene. According to biography, the whirlwind romance that had blossomed on the set of To Have and Have Not was hard won. Bogart was still married to his third wife, Mayo Metho, while he was falling in love with Bacall. The hard-drinking married couple was nicknamed the Battling Bogarts for their constant arguments and physical fights. The year before Bogart met Bacall, Metho had even stabbed him in a fit of rage. After To Have and Have Not wrapped, Bogart and Bacall began meeting in secret. Little happened between the pair until they shared the screen once again in The Big Sleep, another Howard Hawks film. Biography claims that Bogart was initially hesitant to leave Metho, which in turn hurt Bacall. In 1945, Bogart finally filed for divorce. Just 11 days after the separation was made official, he married Bacall. Bogart and Bacall stayed happily married for the remaining 12 years of his life. They had two children, a son named Stephen and a daughter named Leslie. Bacall wore the golden whistle bracelet throughout her marriage to Bogart and was photographed often with the item adorning her wrist. According to Bogart's biography, after the actor's death, Bacall placed the love token in the box that holds his ashes in the Garden of Memory in Forest Lawn, California, where it still remains. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite Golden Era stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.